So I am going to do a loaded envelope, a really basic loaded envelope, well, kind of Christmassy. The first thing about a loaded envelope is people say, what size? For the regular swaps, it's a 6x9 size, and you want, I mean, you could do any kind of envelope once you, you know, as long as you tell your partner what kind of envelope you're going to do. Uh, this I got at a, a, a yes, there's still a Bargain Herald's, so, because Dollarama didn't have it. Uh, I believe Dollar Tree does, but they were sold out, so I had to look somewhere else. So, I want to cut it open. Now, there's debate. You could do whatever you want, but it's debate whether or not. You want to keep your flat. Some people do, they just tuck it in like this to make it a, a little sturdier. Like that. So you load it on. Just, just tuck it in. And some people just cut it off. I prefer to cut it off so it's not in the way. So, just, uh, maybe I should use my straight cutter here. One of my favorite tools I use almost every single day. And sometimes I think I need a new blade. So, usually it cuts really good, but I think I have to replace the blade. It's been a year, so. And you could just trim it if you want, but you're going to be covering it up anyways after, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't cut straight. You could hide it later. So the next thing is, after you choose your paper, I have chosen this. Different kind of decorations. And this is what you got to decide what you want to see, what you want your partner to see. So when you get the envelope, and they have it, so they're going to see the inside here. So what I'm going to do, and the perfect size, I buy them at the dollar store, or Dollar Tree ha always has these, are these packets. They fit perfectly in a loaded envelope. Uh, I believe it's, what's it say, it's 6x6, six six, and they fit perfectly perfectly inside the envelope, like that. But I want something bright, so when they open it, I'm going to put this on, there we go. So when they open it, or not open, when it's open, they'll see this. The next step is, once this is open, what do you want them to see? So I think I'm going to go with Christmas. This color. So this will go to the back. Like so. Like this. So when the envelope is open, once you get it open, it'll go in there anyway. Now the other issue is you could do a full size decoration covering the whole envelope or you could do a half size decoration to cover the front and it's also the same with the back you can either go full or half size depending on how deep of a pocket you make so I usually pick these because the pocket is very deep now, you want to do this gluing fast as possible because you need to cut it and then shape it. And what I like to do is when I shape it is a paintbrush to shape. And I'll, I'll tell you uh, after how to shape it. So let's get gluing. I have my pre-made glue, of course, a mixture of from the dollar store. Perfect. 
and a mixture of this from Dollar Store or Dollar Tree. And you mix it up in there and it's all ready to go. This is a chopstick. For those who don't have never seen my video, I use chopsticks for my glue. I use the plastic one, not the wooden one, because after a while it'll build up. And you can just peel the glue off and keep reusing it. And of course these containers are at the dollar store. So, now you got to work kind of fast with this. So, and you're going to struggle. If, if, you're, if it's your first time, you're going to struggle um, until you get used to it. And see, it's, it's very thick, very thick. So I'm going to add just a bit of the watery glue just to make it a little thinner. But you don't want it too thin or else the glue is going to go all over the place and not stick. And So you got to try and find your right consistency. Now people sometimes say tape it, but you got to dig in there inside the envelope. So what I do is this. I try to do four corners. Like so. Like so. And a bit in the middle. And then you quickly turn it over and you decide where you want the back. So I would like the back at the back. And it's going to get a little messy. You're going to get frustrated. The first time I did it, I was like, how the heck do you do this? Shove it in as fast as you can. Try and get it as even as you can to the... But you could always trim. And there you go. Now you spread out your glue. And try and keep this open. Spread out your glue. La 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 So, next thing you do, when I... This is the other design. Ba 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 ba. Despacito. You know what? That's the only thing. That's the only, <laughs> the only part of the lyric I know. Anywho, I won't kill you with my singing. So see, and now you do the exact same thing on the other side. You do it quick, and you put it in. Shove down, 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 down. Really, 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 really quick. And you're gonna get lots of glue residue and stuff like that. All but. Don't worry about it because you're going to be hiding it anyways from decorations, right? And I really should have brought my... I have to use... I used to have a towel for all this, so I'm just going to use a piece of paper and get the glue off my fingers. Alright, so now you have that and that. So now it's still wet, so you got to work fast and get the front down. I'm going to do it this way. Hmm, this way or this way? Let's go this way. Okay, put that on. Do, 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 do. This side. Put that on. Put it in the middle. There we go. And you put it on like so. So this will be my front. Now you don't have to worry about the back because you're not cutting the back. Now this is where you, and you don't have to worry here because you could use it with washi tape, hide it, stuff like that. Other decorations, put my glue stick away, put this away before it dries. And that's another good thing, it just peels so you could use this container forever. Voila. Okay, so now I want to cut it. So. When you do this, try and cut down the middle, and you don't want to go too far, because if you go too far and you flip it over, you'll see the um, part of the envelope, and then you got to kind of fix it. So I usually cut about right there. So now that that's done, the glue is still wet, so take your brush, and you want to curl it. Curl, 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 oops, like this. There we go. 
And you want to curl. And rub it and rub it and rub it. There we go. And let it go. Do the same thing for the other side. Curl it. Curl it. Curl it. I want to make sure it's the right angle to curl. Go. There we go. Try and curl it the same. Now you see it's starting to pop up. There we go. Hopefully it dries fast. There we go. There. And now you made your curls. Now you can either open it up a bit more if you want, or you can have it even curly or curly. And that's the basic starting. Basic start. So now the other one is whether you want a another decoration here or a pocket. Usually there's a pocket here and a pocket on the back. Now the other issue is should I have curled this after? Possibly, but I like curling it first just to get it over and done with because now you got to glue the back. So the back, I think, what do I have? I have that, that, that. So the back, I'm going to go with hmm I'm going to go with Christmas trees. Alright, so now I got, oh, there's my glue. There's my glue stick. Right. Put now this I want to make sure because but the back will be packed full of stuff. So we don't really have to worry about too much glue. Just want to make sure. Because the edges are going to be hidden by washi tape that I love. I love washi tape. And make sure it's right side up. One time I did it, I actually put it on the bottom. I didn't want that. So you want to stick it on there. And you could always trim it if you go over the envelope or on. But you try and get it lined up. There we go. There we go. Now you just put it there and mush it down the other side. And there you go. A basic front and back pocket letter. Or pocket letter, um, loaded envelope. Now, the other is you could either do a different color pocket in the front and a different color pocket in the back, or you could do what I like to do sometimes, is you just fold it like this. You could do it that way, and then you neatly fold in the insides and you have a pocket.